Hello, Escambia County Public Schools. Welcome to A Bite of Tech, Tech Tips in a Flash, with the Instructional Technology Professional Learning Team. Have you ever seen those digital notebooks and Google Slides that look cool? They all have those different tabs and things students can click on. When they click on a tab or they click on an icon, it goes to a specific place within the notebook. What is a digital notebook or journal? A digital notebook, or some people call it a journal, is paperless pages, but are designed to give you the look of a paper notebook. They offer students a place to take notes, a place to communicate with the teacher, and a place for teachers to provide feedback. Notebooks can be interactive if you include activities such as videos, PDFs, text boxes, and foldables. In this video, I'm going to show you a digital notebook with tabs I created using Google Slides. You can create a digital notebook for a subject or a notebook for all subjects. I chose to create a math notebook. To get started, the first thing I did was open up a new slide presentation. And I like my digital notebooks to be the size of a regular size of paper. So I'm going to change the measurements. To do that, I'm going to go to File, Page Setup. And here I'm going to go to Custom. I'm going to do 8.5 by 11. Apply. I like to do the vertical as well. It keeps it the same size as a sheet of paper. That way, if your students want to print something out they created in one of their notebooks, they can. So now we'll start creating my notebook by first creating my slide. And before we do that, there's going to be some things that we want to be locked down or view only. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Slide. We're going to go to Edit Theme. Notice when I do that, I get this back black ground. That's how you tell that you're in the master slide. And when you do that, anything that you edit here will be view only. Before you begin, make sure you give it a title. Once you've done that, you're going to come over here and you're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom until you get to the blank slide. Once you've gotten to the blank slide, you're going to right click, copy, and then paste. So now that will give you an extra blank slide to work with. So I wanted the cover of my notebook to look like a composition book. So I'm going to look for an image. I'm going to go to Insert, Image, Search the Web, and you can see I've already searched, so what I've searched for has come up. So I chose this one. You choose the one you want, then you're going to Insert. So here is where you're going to make the cover fit the page. And remember, if you're going to put tabs at the top, you're going to need to leave that room at the top. If you choose to put your tabs on the side, then you leave room on the side. For mine, I chose to put my tabs at the top. The next thing I did was to insert a text box so I could put the title of the notebook. I also changed the size of the font and made it bold and made it large so I could see it. I also created a box down here, a text box, for them to put their name. To add tabs, you're going to go to the shapes, and then I chose this shape. So you're going to copy and paste that shape, and you'll notice here what I did was I copied it, then I just duplicated it. Get them the size that you want, then you can change the color. You will then add text boxes to each of the tabs. Remember, anything on the master slide, students won't be able to edit. Once I created my tabs and added a text box for that title of the section, I then linked that tab to that slide. If I go to Slideshow and now I press on the tabs at the top, it will take me to each section. If I go back to the first section, I've added a couple things. This is a video that the students can watch and you can add questions at the bottom. This is an interactive activity where they actually take these circles and uh, choose the correct answer. You will add a text box so that students can type their name. So 
So that's a quick overview of digital notebooks using Google Slides. Thanks for joining us for a bite of tech. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech tips.